point your direction out south right now. You saw a lot of that upper level cloud really stick with us throughout the weekend, letting you know Hurricane Hillary was really pulling a lot of that moisture across our region in the Concho Valley. But those clouds quickly bubbling up to the south as that tropical storm starts to make its way towards us. Could see it sometime by tonight. Right now we're looking at those record temperatures in the Concho Valley, hanging out at 104 right here in San Angelo. Everybody else hanging out in those triple digits, but those hot temperatures pretty much over for the summer as you'll see past the tropical storm they're really going to start cooling down we're getting a good idea of those temperatures across the concho valley right now really a lot cooler than we have seen in the past couple months right now sterling city 102 usually they're about 10 degrees hotter than that but we are seeing a lot of those cooler t conditions off to the southwest we're going to be keeping our eye right down here towards the no uh, southeast and that's where our storm is going to start coming from as it starts to make its way towards us very quickly by tonight we're seeing those winds really pick up at about 20 to 30 miles per hour. We're getting a good look at those dew points and relative humidity. You might not believe it, but there is no indication that this storm could be on its way. We're not seeing an increase in dew points. We're not seeing an increase in humidity, but that storm is definitely on its way. We're getting a good look at that storm right now as it starts to push into our area. We're talking about the heat dome right now as we're going to continue to watch that easterly flow really push across the Gulf Coast in across the Concho Valley. And then we're watching as Hurricane Hillary gets sucked up and pushed into the northern states right now. But once we watch that cutoff low kind of happen off the west coast, we're watching our our system kind of make a normal weather pattern that's more indicative to the summertime or more regular in this time of year and then we'll watch that high pressure kind of rebound back towards the four corners and encompass much of West Texas but I don't think we're gonna see any of those record temperatures that we have been seeing right now the severe weather outlook keeping along the Gulf Coast and really right along that line where we're at Hurricane Hillary or post Hurricane Hillary is really starting to dump a lot of significant rainfall. We're seeing it really encompass those parts of Washington that we were just talking about could potentially put out some of those fires, help out a little bit. But as far as Texas is concerned, I don't think we're going to see a lot from this storm really help out across eastern Texas with some of those fires they're dealing with. That storm slated to make its way into our region by about tonight. A couple of tracks right now have that low pressure system hanging out just a little bit in the Gulf, but you'll see those tracks have it going mostly off to the west, one just hooking up towards the northeast. But we are hoping that it brings a lot much of that much needed rain to our region right now we're going to get a good idea of what's going to happen over the next couple hours you'll see this storm slowly make uh, landfall and then by about tonight early tomorrow we're going to watch waves of rain showers and thunderstorms really make its way into our area by wednesday on and off cloud cover and then by thursday everything's going to clear out and you would have no idea that a massive storm just made its way into our area could see up to two to three inches of rain in only a couple hours over the next couple of days so tonight we're going to be dropping down into those upper 70s as that cloud cover really starts to push into our area Area, holding on to some of that heat those storms could start early and then tomorrow we're gonna make a run at those triple digits might hit it but we're gonna see significant amounts of rainfall we're gonna see a lot of thunderstorm activity increased winds so everybody definitely be very careful tomorrow be aware of those flash flood areas that we've been known that are prone to seeing a lot of standing water and that's gonna be the case as we make our way through this fourth week of August and we're gonna see those temperatures slowly kind of taper off be more in that comfortable range on and off rain showers and then as we start to approach the weekend going to kind of get humid and then suddenly by the fifth week of August those temperatures are going to suddenly drop and we're going to get back into a comfortable range with those lows really staying in the upper 70s. Stay tuned. We'll have more after the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.